Well, tonight we're also celebrating Western New York as it is featured in the major motion picture, A Quiet Place 2. The John Krasinski film premiered tonight. And if you remember, it was filmed all around Western New York and it features not only local landmarks, but a lot of local actors and film crews. Two on your sides, Jackie Roberts joins us now live from East Aurora, where some of the people in the film just got to see themselves. Hi there, Jackie. Yes, yeah, Scott and Mary Ellis, as you can see here at the Aurora Theater, there's a message in the marquee saying welcome extras for a group of local cast members who came here to watch the premiere. And after a 14 month delay due to the pandemic, the people we spoke to say the movie was well worth the wait. There was a sense of excitement and also a sense of normalcy at the Aurora Theater as people filled in the seats for the premiere of A Quiet Place Part Two. And it's been a really long time since we've had uh, this kind of crowd. It's been well over a year, probably going back to Christmas of 2019 that we've had a crowd this size. A group of local cast members were among the crowd, including David O'Donnell, who's wearing today what he wore on set. I signed up back in July. It was almost two years ago. So we're background, basically. So we run down the street and they put us in different positions to um, to uh, coincide with the movie, what they needed. Tammy Meidenbauer, who was also an extra in the film, organized the event with a mini red carpet for cast members. It's pretty cool just to be able to watch it and see the local landmarks and to you know pick out your friends or whatever that were in the film. Familiar sites you'll notice include the Grand Island Bridges and Main Street in Akron. The owner of the theater says she was excited to show the movie not only because of the film itself, but also because of what the night represents. This is our big weekend. It's called The Big Screen Is Back uh, because it's really the only place people can get that experience of what people that are making the movies want you to have. Seeing it on a large screen in a dark room, with a lot of people and getting their reaction and just playing off of everything. So um, it's just a very special experience and we hope people are all going to come back to see the movies in the next few months. And when we spoke to the owner earlier tonight, she said this show was close to being a sellout, which is a big milestone at this point. And if you missed the premiere but still want to catch the movie, you should be able to find it at several theaters now across western New York. In East Aurora, Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Jackie. The owner did a great job there, but didn't mention the delicious popcorn. <laughs> I know, How can I you can... go to the movies and not have a popcorn? You can almost smell it when you see that. Oh. But the, 